Today we're going to be taking notes over the periodic table. And this is just going to be a brief review because you spent a lot of time talking about the periodic table last year in science. So hopefully this will remind you of a few of the th things that you learned. The scientists, a long time ago, began to recognize that there were regularities that existed in the properties of elements that they had discovered and they decided that they needed to have a way to organize that information so that you could view it very easily and that things followed a certain pattern and structure. So there was a man named Dmitry Ivanovich Mendeleev and he lived from 1834 to 1907. He was the youngest of 17 children. He was born in Siberia and he didn't really perform very well in classical languages so he wasn't considered an outstanding student. But he's actually one of the many scientists who ended up creating a periodic table. And actually, he was laughed at because his periodic table had holes in it. Well, come to find out, he was actually smarter than everyone else. And he realized that not all of the elements had been discovered yet. So he left space for them. That's why there were holes in the table. Uh, if you go to this website when you have some time, there will be different dates of discovery for the various elements on the periodic table. You'll definitely want to look at this when you start working on your element project. So keep that in mind. So basically on the periodic table, there's a box. Not just one box, lots of boxes. And there are lots of different things in that box. The very top thing is the atomic number. Then you have a letter, or two letters, or sometimes three letters, and that's the symbol of the element. Then you'll have the name of the element, and at the bottom is usually the atomic weight. The atomic numbers increase as you move across the table and as you move down by groups. The atomic number shows us where the element is found on the periodic table, and the atomic number actually stands for the number of protons in the nucleus. Generally, the number of protons and electrons are going to be equal as long as it's a stable element and a stable atom, uh, but we focus only on the protons for that number. Atomic mass, uh, that very bottom number, is the number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. It generally increases as you move down and across the table, but not always, so be very careful. We have different types of elements, and generally on periodic tables, they're going to be colored differently based on the type of material they are. So for instance, metals are shaded pink in your textbook, because and they conduct heat and electricity. Nonmetals are going to be blue, and they can be gaseous at normal temperatures. And then semi-metals are going to be displayed by the green boxes. Now remember, pink, blue, and green doesn't mean that's what color the element is. That's just what color the box is on the periodic table of elements. When you read through the table, elements are grouped together based on similarities. So we're going to talk about the different ways that they can be grouped and how that grouping gives us more information about them. One way that they're grouped is by periods, and the periods rep are represented by horizontal rows. Okay? In the periodic table, elements have something in common if they're in the same row. All of the elements in a period have the same number of atomic orbitals. And we'll talk about orbitals later in the unit. And that information came from the website listed below. Aside from periods, we also have groups. And groups are vertical columns. The elements in a group have the same number of electrons in their outer orbital. Those outer electrons are also called valence electrons. The information there is from the same website. Here are a few citations for where this information came from. You're going to be doing lots of activities with the periodic table um, and lots of things online. So remember, if you have any questions, please let me know in class.